Ditches of love we we sow In this online world we come to grow Mom and Pop will chart where hearts align Let's embrace the craft and let our souls shine Hey everyone! Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lind of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop Studio and we are working on a beautiful, perfectly pieced flower quilt with some butterflies. But you can't see them yet, so you have to wait to stick to the end. All right, let's finish up the row. All right. This is gorgeous. I love all these triangles, how they come together. And then this, this uh, flower that you're gonna see is a perfect example of partial piecing. Love it. Just finishing up the last row. It's got white thread, just white. Just, just white. Uh, glide, top and bottom. And you will see as it comes to the back, why I chose white. There's a cute um, white and white background, or backing with, it's got, it's got hand needle and thread. And I thought it said, Spool, but maybe it just said needle and thread on the on the packaging. But it is gorgeous. I love it. I love it. It's doing a feather paisley stitch out. It has six rows. It is a 84 by 78 quilt. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And the rest is this awesome green um, triangles that make hexagons. And the piecing is just fantastic. It's, it's so beautiful. And it's such an honor to be able to pull all these lovely works of art up. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Fluffs. Hope everybody's having a good week. It was a lovely day here in Nova Scotia. Just got a couple more little uh, stitch up sections to do. I think it's just starting on the second, second to last, yes. And then I'll do the big reveal so you can see it. There's a couple of really cute butterflies on it. And I didn't get a chance to um, ask uh, in information about this uh, beautiful quilt, so hopefully um, I can get Miss Allison to leave it in the comments. I know it's a gift for someone. That's kind of why I'm trying to get it done all today and get it mailed. I think it turned out so lovely. We did a medium uh, density on the quilting. Nothing too, 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 too uh, you know, scrunched up and not too far apart. Just enough. And each quilt will kind of have its own way, I feel, right? Sometimes you want it a little bit more close together and sometimes you want it a little bit more airy apart. Pardon? I think for if you want more like an art piece, we're closer together. I don't know if you want something that's going to hang on the wall or be used as a you know, table, table topper. Or something's going to lay flat like I have for our dining room table. It's a, a red and white leaf, maple leaf quilt and I quilted that twice. I quilted it one direction and then quilted it in another. And it kind of amazes people when they see it. But it, it lies flat. <laughs> no one's drink is going to topple over. Alright, it's going into the last one here, I think. Yeah.
beautiful, beautiful, perfect piecing. Oh, my goodness. It's just, it's a joy to look at. Uh, everything just comes together and is so precise with the, like, the little targets. That's a, that's a skill builder right there. It, that's a beautiful one. Man, you're looking for a challenge. But it, it's just a matter of lining up. That's the, that's the main part of it, right? And when you're working with um, triangles, you can work row by row. It does make the whole hexagon sort of shape a whole lot easier to deal with. Almost there. We have 80 20 batting. That's uh, usually my customers' preferred. Oh, it's so nice. Yay. Almost there. Almost done. Get to see the reveal. Almost done. little locking stitches and we're just going to scoop right over and have them be lost in the binding. Okay, makes it easy. And a little snip. Okay, and now I'm going to kind of put you in the center a little bit. Put you near some color. I'm going to unclip the sides. And we have, this is a big uh, wide back as well. It was like four yards, or sorry, three yards. So it was very big. So let me, I have to unroll a little bit. Okay, not too much. Let's just pull this up just a smidge so I can get to it. Okay, now let me move Walt out of the way so you can see it. And... Let me just do a little bit more, and that way I lock it, and I got a little bit of resistance to the show. Oops. There we go. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. There's two butterflies. There's one down in the corner there, and one right there. So hopefully you can see that one. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, and it looks amazing. Good choice on the stitch out. Okay. And then the back. Oh, lovely. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. And we'll see you on the next one, everybody. Take care. Have a great day.